Hey, what's up everybody? This is Nexus71C here with a <coughs> with a video showing you how to use PS Cryptor to sign your eBoots on PSP. Meaning that when you use this, you'll make it to where every single game that is unsigned will be signed. <laughs> if you get what that means. As in so a game that if you get it and it says, oh, you're not able to use this because you're on original firmware. It'll say data is corrupted or something like that. And if you have custom firmware, then you know it'll work out immediately. But if you want a custom firmware game that and you have a, the official firmware, but you don't want to upgrade to custom, this is your workaround. But it will not work on every single eBoot. Some eBoots, it will not work at all some it will it really depends on the game that you're doing if it's just a regular game that hasn't been signed they're like okay go ahead if it's one of those heavily built games that require more ram you're going to need custom otherwise this will not work for you you're gonna have to get custom so sorry okay so let's get started all right so the zip go to the description and the zip file in it <coughs> Download the zip file, which should contain both of these. This is just the source, so don't worry about this. I mean, this if you just want to go through it, I just edit it in. Why not? <clears throat> and this is what you need right here. So, this is what comes with it. Port of the Purex signer posted in here. That's the real thing. Author of ooh. So that's apparently the author of the signing code, which it just went back, I think. Right there, the BBTGP. Help many other coders. Da 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 da. Why didn't the person who made this thing freaking work out better? All right, we get the idea. But anyways, okay. So here's what you got to do. We have original thing. This is where you place your eboot. This has nothing in it, it just tells you where to place your eboot. So here we are and here's what we're gonna do. So I don't have an actual official firmware deal here. I only have my custom firmware PSP, so technically this will work either way for me. But I'm just telling you how to use this. I promise it does work. I swear. But anyway, it's just to show you. Alright. So what you're going to want to do is get this, so let's do this, grab this right here, copy, go to your memory stick, which mine is right here, PSP, game, then paste it on in. Shouldn't take long because it's very small, and there we go. That's all you need, and for a game that you're wanting to sign, the eBoots. These are all the ones I have. So, uh, I don't think this is signed. I can get the original eBoot because there is a signed one here. But let's get the original one. So let's just copy and paste it in here. Just the eBoot file. You don't need anything else. All right. Now once you're done with that, you can close out your memory stick. Go ahead and take out memory stick or whatever. Right now I have mine as <clears throat> I have my actual memory stick put in the computer, so I have to put it back in and get the PSP set up. So let me just get that set up real fast. Putting it back in. Plug the PSP into my computer so that we may get a capture feed. Alright, I'm going to open up my program to show off. Gotta wait. <clears throat> there we go. So, what you do now is you go to your memory stick. And you go all the way down until you see it. It should be a blank. That's not it.
right here. PS Crypto. It could be anywhere on your PSP. It's on the bottom for me for some stupid reason, but anyway. Let's open it up. Alright, it's just popping some up. Ah, people on Skype, I swear to God. <laughs> Move out of the way. Alright, hold up. Hmm. So this part will not pop up for you, apparently. Because it's in, like, a weird mode. But what it will say is... Encrypt eboot.pbp files directly from your PSP. Use the code made from... Made by blah 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 parts of that. GGS, thank you. Then it will start unpacking your eboot file. It puts in the icons, and you'll see that it's unsigned. Do all this other stuff, then it'll fix the real locations of the BRX. It will crypt the file, load the file, process keys, encrypt the BRX file, forging the CMAC block. Now it will dump in the new file. And basically, it's what it's, what it's doing is it's taking the inner file from the eBoot and fixing it up to where you can actually use it on OFW original firmware and when it's done then it will tell you which right now it's still writing it for me it says writing data adding the icons back in the pictures the S and D's and the data all that other kind of crap yeah it takes a little bit and then it'll say finished hope it works returning to X and B now you just gotta wait. Mm -hmm. My screen should pop up in a minute now. No, it's not. What the heck? Hmm. That's weird. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's why. Okay, I understand why. Just gotta reopen the file. <laughs> I was like, what the heck? Why is my PSP showing? But that's why. So, what you're gonna have to do now is basically move the file around. And since we're doing that, I'm just gonna go into my actual file browser. So we don't have to mess with anything else. Well, no, hold on. Let me see if I can connect in USB mode. Alright, this is where I'm going to have to close out the thing, so I should be able to enter USB mode, actually. Let me try that. There we go. It actually does enter USB mode. I didn't have to take it out this time. <coughs> Alright, now what you do is go to PSP, game, find your cryptor. Go to sign. Here is all the file that it gave you. So like your pick that. All right. So this pick here is your background picture. So you can literally change your background picture. Which I actually I don't think that's true. But it might be. I don't know. It, it really this just extracts everything. This is the actual icon for the game itself. Uh, here's all the stuff. It basically just extracted every single bit of it. The unsigned data, the original data, and here's your signed PBB. You just copy it, game, and since my thing's already here, you just have to right click, paste, put it back into your folder, your original folder, and rename it as eBoot. But mine's already good, so I'm going to delete it. And there you go. That's literally how it works. Here. Um, yeah. It's pretty much true. This actually isn't signed yet. This actually isn't signed at all. <laughs> it literally has PRXs. That's weird. Wait. Huh. Does this actually... Okay, buddy, I don't understand any of that. 
whatever, that's not officially part of this video. But okay then, that is literally all you have to do. And then the game itself shall run. Which, I'm just going to play this just for the heck of it. Even though, really, I don't need to. But, yeah, here. I'm just going to play the game that I just signed. <laughs> There's no point, because the game worked anyway without the signing. But, yeah, here. Let's, let's uh, fix the USB. Alright, and our setup is back. Turns out I just had to restart my PSP to get it to work. Anyways, I'll just show you guys the game that I just did. So, you know, you can see it. These are not the games. This is the game. Right here. If anyone's gonna ask, like, Oh, wait, you already had that game before, and you already showed it in your other video. No, this is the update. This is the newest update that they just added for people to play. It's really cool. I mean, it's a demo, so you're not going to get much out of it. But, I mean, it's really nice, at least. Alright, here we are. Ripperoni and pepperoni. <laughs> I don't know why they put that. It's just funny to put, I suppose. Alright, just wait for it to load. Here we go. Alright, so single player, multiplayer, which doesn't work. You see? I mean, it's not going to work right now. So it's not officially supported. Let's put... Okay, first of all, that's actually a lie. I don't know who told them this, but that is actually a lie. Look, look right here. Ad hoc. What? Oh, wait, wait. It's not officially supported. I said to play online on PSP. Maybe that's what it means. Yeah, they, that's not right, but you can play on the ad hoc. You can play that, like, play two PSPs right next to each other. That's actually available. Kirok does it. Oop, whoops. Well, I don't want to do that. Okay. Settings. This one has achievements. That's cool. So, single player. You can also have custom maps, so, as you see. Here's how many maps I got. Compact. Ooh. Just to show you. Be sure to check out Cause of War 19, 1944 for the PSP. Even though it doesn't work. I mean, it's not that it doesn't work. It's just meh. Merge your device and water for God mode. <laughs> uh, yes, you put your PSP into a freaking... Oh, submerge. But anyways, put your freaking d PSP into a dang... Uh, into your sink. Immediately, in all your games, you'll have God mode. Stop eating like a noob. The first release of NZP was released on December 25th, 2010. That's actually true. Turns out. Blubs is from the USA. This game is the reason that we have bad sleeping habits. Don't play for too long or else zombies will eat you. You can make your own custom map. Check out the readme file. That is true. You can do that. That was epic. Epic for the win. Does it take this long to load this map? Okay, screw this. Screw this crap. No, just... Main menu. Yes. Single player. For some reason that gets glitched on the screen now. Not sure in Toten. We'll load that instead. There. This should load a lot faster because it's actually supported. This game is 21% cooler. It's only cooler. Because it is. It's only cooler because it's been updated. That is it. I mean, you can't play custom maps, so I don't think you can now. I don't think you can play custom maps on this one yet. I mean, I mean, you can play them, but I don't think they'll have zombies in them, is the point. I think they do. I don't know. I'll have to ask that. But anyways. There we go. Let's do it. How do you... Oh yeah, I forgot. This is my... Moving camera, let's shoot. Let's do this. These are weird looking boards now. And I have a crosshair that will literally. Oh, whoops. Well, the crosshair was supposed to like move around and stuff, but I guess not now.
they've made some better sound effects and zombies have different zombies look different too oh jeez oh yeah they can now reach through boards auto aim that's new also the hit marker that's a bit new oh jeez Nope, nope. Knife the dang guy, for God's sakes. Thank you. Also, the map's been a little bit revamped. Mm. Mm. Thanks for the weird, creepy nightmare sounds. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Excuse me, come through, come through, come through. Oh. We ain't not enough points. We get enough points. Screw it, we'll just get this gun. Horrible gun, but we'll try it. As you see, pretty much it should work like this. Unless this game's one of those that are filtered. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. Unless this game is one of those filtered games, then <laughs> you're good to go. But if it's filtered, you're screwed. But, yeah. So any of those e-boots out there that you want that are custom firmware, you may use this perfectly fine. As I said, all you have to do is go all the way down, start it up, and you may crypt your ISOs. Well, not really ISOs. I want to say that. E-boots. <laughs> I'm dumb. Shut up. So far, all these down here, I've done. Like, this came. Like... This came as signed, I signed this, I signed that, signed it, signed it, uh, that came from signed, this I actually bought, signed it, signed it, signed it, signed it, signed it, these were custom firmware, and everything above was custom firmware, because <laughs> as soon as I started hearing everybody going crazy with custom firmware, I'm like, I have to have this. I just have to have custom firmware. Perfect. But, yeah, anyways. So, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I hope that helped you figure that out. And I will see you next time. So, yeah. Later. Whenever I can get on the stop button. Okay, here we go. Now see ya.